Hey, welcome everybody to Battle Pirates Crib. Uh, today we're going to talk about the strategy guide, the new FM, uh, briefly about the new uh, uh, launch pad, and whatever else you guys want to talk about. So uh, any questions, uh, put them in chat. Um, so let's say hello to everybody. Uh, TSM. Hello. That was exceptionally hello. chirpy of you. Okay. Start. <laughs> Very good. And uh, Derpy, how are you doing, sir? You staying out of trouble? I am. I'm getting into a little bit of trouble, but an appropriate amount. We'll 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 say that. Okay. You yeah. know, maybe we'll get details in the after show. So uh, maybe maybe I'll go to New York. You never know. Could go to New York. Oh, okay. You you I mean, you you're, you're East Coasting. I was selected for jury duty in New York, so. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 I see. I, I, no, now, I, I now I know where you're. Now I know where you're going. So, uh, does the gag order on any comments associated with you? Uh, it's it. I am the person who's been gagged, actually. Okay. Yep. You know, you're gonna have to show up on the Sunday show for the uh, fans only to see Ger Derpy gagged. So. Uh, well, I want Wednesdays off to do that. So anyway. Okay. All right. Well, let's move forward. All right. So we have a new launch pad. I still haven't done the portals. Um, so we get some new I'm rockets. I'm one, but yeah. Yeah. We get some new rockets to do more. I don't even think I put the screenshots of those. So just do more damage. We got the bunker buster and, you know, a daisy cutter or whatever. So they do more mm -hmm. damage than the previous ones. You know, yeah, I'd be more uh, impressed by like a pinch six. Yeah, yeah, well, that'd be useful for PVE, and they don't really want that. These these are just PVP standard escalation rockets, pretty much. Yeah. People um, are using new rockets already. Oh my, what really? How effective are they, Dave? Are they knocking out? Well, you, you could look at the damage hit points, figure out what they do. I, I don't know if they one shot. Uh, I love coiners too, Fred. Thanks for your contributions to the game. Um, yeah, exactly. We love anyway, coiners. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, so Bunker Buster 9 is the current one. That's going to do 25 million damage to buildings. If you look at a top tier warehouse, it has, let's see. Well, I can't even see the freaking hit points on that thing because mine are all mad. Well, uh, it's kind of one shot a warehouse, no question, even with the survival and stuff like that. So you can take out things like the damage booster stuff, whatever. Turrets, it's, it's going to be more interesting against those. So the level, level 18 turrets have 20 million armor points, but they also have plus 20% explosive defense. So I could try and figure out 20 times 1.2. These things will one-shot uh, a turret. One-shot, you know, the Helix Launcher, for instance, is what I was looking at. So it could be pretty powerful. I mean, Helix Launchers are pretty good. Take one out. Even if you have the plates on to for explosive? Mm. Oh, no. those I don't I don't have explosive plates on. See, if you put explosive, explosive plates on, you probably... Yeah, you'll be safe in that case. My quick If my quick backlog of the envelope math is correct. Okay. So it takes 13 day, 13 and a half days. Um, yeah, low on my priority list, personally. Yeah, if you were a PvP player, it'd be a lot higher. But, uh, you know, it, it's not going to make or break anything anyway. Okay. Well, let's move forward. All right. Um Right now, we're in the week uh, April 15th through the 21st. We have the FM, the new FM, the normal FM, uh, VXP weekend, uh, which they did not mention in the briefing. Uh, practice sealed, um, which is for your covenant, uh, not uh, practice sealed plus. So it's the same as last time. There's no upgrade tokens. There's kits and build tokens and then limited weapons. Uh, you know, I'm pretty much stocked up on all that stuff, so I'm not even sure that I'm going to do it. I do need 40 more um, for the normal covenant to get it to X1, but I guess we're going to see the X1 upgrades next raid. So, yeah, yeah 40 more with, you know, 
I, I don't have that many upgrade tokens, so I can get them along the way, but they were not available in the raid. So maybe I'll do enough to get them all to X1, you know, do the first two encounters, but I don't really need the rest of it. I'm I'm stock full of limited weapons and everything else. So um Noble Pursuit and Full Moon for uh PvP halls. Any thoughts on this week as far as uh uh, someone needs to convince me. Someone needs to tell me to do Noble Pursuit for build tokens for the Baron and uh, the full full moon for the Wolf Spain because mine aren't fully armored. So, so someone needs to actually convince me to do it. Oh, I'm already doing the Wolf's one for the skin. I said it was on really. Well, well, uh, that ten percent of the skin is not going to be that helpful. So I think I'll I won't bother. Yeah, I just collect the skins because it's something to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It actually has ten percent of eight on the skin. <laughs> twenty of it. <laughs> okay. I think it might be twenty-five if you use the skin and a lucky bastard's crew. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, the bounty Olympus Fallen, I assume, is for the new hall. And yeah, uh, yep, that yeah. was our assumption. Yeah, you know, I did have Craig if he could if he could put this stuff on here and he said uh screw you. So you know, like the you know what well, he, he used to, he used to, but now he stopped to uh, you know probably because I asked him to I asked him to include it. He's like, Oh, I'm taking it off. Yeah, yeah. It seems likely. So that's it. Um we'll be back on Friday, hopefully. Uh for anybody who's willing to show up. The and, some mirror mirror median. How do we pronounce this new thing? Builds and stuff like that after we see the VXP targets. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Because I'll, I'll try to be on. Uh, I'm sorry if we weren't on. Uh, like you know, nobody was available on Friday. Um, not to blame them, but you know, it was. Well, uh, I, no, 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 no. I, I, I said we were going to do one, and then we didn't do one. So I'm just apologizing to everybody that I didn't do one because Fake I didn't want to be on. I didn't want to be on solo, uh, Fake, which Fake. could have been the case, you know. So uh, bounty, uh, pillage, yada yada, and then we're going to have the raid the next week, and we assume that's when we get the X one on the covenant. So uh, keep that in mind. Be uh, you know, vigilant with your kits and tokens. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe you need yeah. some build tokens stacked up to put the new super limited on there whenever it comes out. You know, the equip cap, the equip cap limited that we're assuming we're going to get. I, I think I have like eighteen of eighteen build tokens. Well, so it's, I don't. Yeah. I don't do most of the TLCs, so I have definitely don't have eighteen. Mm. Okay. Well, let's move forward. All right, the new target is the 603. Um, Auto target, allegedly. Allegedly is going to have uh, a... Yeah. Uh, and that's what, uh, that's what me and TSM are talking about. You know, it's easy to drive. Uh, expect, you know, uh, on the water repair. If not, you know, no repair. I've only run through it once, and I got, you know... Um, I got dock repair, but I screwed up at one point. So I'm thinking it's an instant repair. Um, you know, on the water type of thing. I didn't have a crew. That's bold of you to assume I'm going to drive the Forsaken mission. Well, that, that's what I was talking about TSM before uh, you got on. Is like, could you drive it once so people know how to drive it and then auto it and figure out if they've given us an auto target at this point. And the nice thing is they've uh, dropped limited shards for the uh, new limited weapon. Which sometimes they miss uh, at this at this month. Sometimes they make us wait a month for this. Oh, that's good. So, yeah. So yeah, we have pretty, the yeah. yeah we got the shards for the limited weapon for the Meridian. And so, uh, do you want to do that now, TSM, or should we do that later? Uh, here yeah, we can do it now. It, oh, hell, just says it's definitely not auto friendly for sure. So, so let's have a let's let's, let's yeah let's have a look at it, shall we? Just. For the amusement okay, side yeah, it's dry, it's definitely drivable. Um, and then we know that Derpy is better at autoing than anybody else, so maybe we'll have him. I am the world's fail. best autoer, 100%. I'm just better at autoing than I am at driving. So, mm -hmm. yeah. all right, if we're going to drive a to it, should we use a crew or should we just go 
naked as we are. Lucky bastards. <laughs> I always would. Maybe, uh, what about, when, what about when Father George was making his video? That's I was like, you know, just throw lucky bastards on your. Uh, just throw oh, what's that bastards. one right there? Put on the free rangers, or maybe maybe the, or the one at the very very far left. What's that one on the very far left? Yeah, put on that crew. No, no. Twenty five percent more damage. Either do sea serpents or you know. Yeah, let's keep it something simple. So that we, uh, building sea serpents or steelheads, or you know, whatever you choose, but something cheap. But that's you're going to drive it at this point, so you, you probably don't need anything. I think more about the auto crew. Uh, let's drive it for, first. Let's just yeah, drive it first naked, and then you know, figure out what crew you want to put on afterwards. How did you know he had his clothes off? This is what it is. I have a camera on there. Yeah, yeah. Separate camera. Fans uh -huh. only. Oh, there it is. There. Is it fixed entry point? Or is it? Yeah, it is. You're going to come in at the bottom right, regardless, which honestly is is one thing that makes the auto targets possible. I don't know if this is going to actually be be that way or not. You have a fixed entry point and have a. Oh, never mind. Well, that's the 621. Oh, it must be two of them. Right? Must be two in the same place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 603 is the target. TSM's working on his accounting. Oh, I see. There's one overlapping another one. Look. Yeah. Convenient excuse. What can I say? It looks like 603, but there's a 621 right in the middle of the same line writing with it. I don't know. I, I can't read, title. so it's fine if you can't uh, do your numbers. It looks like a 603 Robo 621 Elite Robo. <laughs> God. Don't have too many ideas for the next target name. Oh, okay. So, oh, we're straight into a. All right. Okay. Yeah, because it, oh, it feels right. like auto at, at certain points. Because that's like, okay, you hit the building, you don't even come in range. So it feels well, like it's, auto. Oh, it's supposed to be an auto one. I I complained about it enough. They said, okay, fine. We're going to give you the next target with an auto. Mm. Um, designation. What do we got then? What do we got? Got one of these things here. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. It's going to be hard to get the missile behind there, but they do such low damage at this point. They don't really do any damage, do they? Well, the missiles, those guys? Not now. I mean, one of those eight just hit you, I'm sure, and the other really? seven were missed or shot down by your CMs. Well, these aren't going to do any harm, are they? So. I've decided I don't like these new skins either. Well, I don't have them. I didn't do whatever. I, I think the standard one's a better skin. I think it's this is annoying, if anything, these skins. It makes the front of the boat seem really... Sh and, the, and the center point's not quite in the center anymore. Yeah, we've been complaining about the center point of these garrison targets forever now, and they said... Tough. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's not a you know, it's not a difficult target, but you mm -hmm. know, I like the fact that it drops the limited charts. So that's uh, yeah. But if we can figure out if it's audible, you know, maybe it can you know, run up the shards so I don't have to get them elsewhere because we you know we need countermeasures, uh, MDS threes from what I can tell from the strategy guide. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how well that works out. Pen, isn't they they told the them pretty clearly they, they needed to do that instead of pretend that gales were going to work instead. Yeah, a lot of pen by the of it. And if MDS3s are happening, I'll tell you guys right now, I'm going to put one or two on the fleet, not all six. No, two maximum, that's what I'm doing. People love to put on way more than you need. Yeah. Nice driving so far. Something going to spin around a what? It is, isn't it? Yeah, I was just wondering where it was going to spin. Oh, it's not too bad. So it'll miss me then. Yeah, so if you go on that, that ship that just did spinning on the far right, you can hit... I guess there's two angles where you can get onto that center island. Oh, yeah, I can blast from there and go across there, actually, yeah. 
I should have done that just then, shouldn't I? Yeah. It is nice that the we do so much damage at this point that we can yeah exactly kind of yeah. cheesy against the uh, UAV turrets and they go down pretty quickly. I mean, because you know, this one you could drive right on the outside first and then just do it in two circles, couldn't you? I suppose you could do the outside lot and then do the inner lot. You'd be good. Yeah, see one or two random missiles from that guy shooting at you is not gonna not gonna do a whole lot. No. Mm -hmm. You guys can't you can you can't hear me now though, right? What, um, I can now, yeah. I wasn't okay. gonna say anything. He gave it away. <laughs> yeah. No, because it was like I went to the settings and the audio testing and I'm like if at one point you guys couldn't hear me and now you know it should that you could just making sure i, I was gonna say i was gonna say nothing yeah yeah well there might be some medication yeah. for that fred yeah yeah a little blue pill yeah we're gonna see how it goes on auto yeah not very well i reckon Well, you yeah. know, Brett always likes the cussing. So I just drove one in the background here as well. I got eight minutes to prepare. Um, I just one ship. It is just one ship in it. So. Oh, look at that. You have that one hair left on that one. Turret. I know it's annoying, isn't it? I'm going to wait till he spins around. I should have hit down that bottom, bottom end because then that will just we use that. Yeah, you're quite right. Yeah, it's it, driving is not bad. I mean, it's like if you can auto it and and because you're going to get the shards for the new weapon. So Does this thing kick out. Um, it's a low one. Does this one kick out? No, no. There's no short range weapons at all on that guy. Oh, cool. I don't. Need... We'll see. Shall I, we? I did. I did say hey that they need to add them in the. Well, there might be. No, nah. there's no word elite in front of this name, is there? So I can't see the live icons actually covering it up. Okay, oh, look at that. Just penetrative. Nice. And three minutes instant map repair on the first one. Yep. A bit slow, but there's a way of speeding it up. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Okay, do I get out of this one? Do we auto one, shall yep. we? Are you doing auto, are you? Or? I'll do audio auto one. I love auto damage targets. Okay. okay. Should I switch over? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that's the real question <coughs> whether it's time to go what? to go blitz the rest of that EFM. Yeah, the real question is whether you can auto these. Get the uh get the shards. You know, so what's acceptable for auto? Uh, hour fifteen? Yeah, yeah, I mean hour fifteen. I'm, I might altering, decided, but... I'm altering at the same time, so we'll see what happens. No. See who's better autoing. Uh, uh, look at that. The UAV's that, got on. That, that sounds like a fans only situation where you're both autoing. <laughs> <laughs> I have one ship at U2, and I still have some Seeker missiles I need to refit onto these guys. So, no, okay. I should put on Sea Serpents. <laughs> I, yeah, I think sea I'm going to put or, Seekers on my, uh, on my countermeasure ship. You know, I can't do a split screen, but you know, I see you're both. Oh, you've got Sea Serpents on. I've just got the. Building damage one, so let's see. What I've got steelheads. Oh, but steelheads, is it? Oh, yeah, sorry, in top corner. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Actually, I put on a grease monkey. I rolled a grease monkey the other day, and I also wrote a two star salty. I kept that one. Yeah, I I, I, I got two two star salties uh, trying to get one sea serpent. They <laughs> came two, two apart. So, yeah. And I uh, rolled over like four of them. It was like ridiculous. Is it frozen? What does it mean? Oh yeah, it's. Let me let me see. Ah, there we go. It's back. Well, that's not bad for what? No, it's not. What is it? Well, so far we don't know yet. Okay. We don't know, but so far is you know probably about a, less than eight damage to the fleet. 
I mean, you could, be, you could if this is auto, you could definitely auto the whole FM and then just fix it later. Yeah, yeah. You could probably auto the FM and drive a TLC at this rate, which is ideal. Okay, let's see. Let's see on this last or two clusters how bad it is. I'm not even going in one. I've just left it yeah, just as a surprise. Okay, let's see. A lot of explosive. Yeah, but that's to be expected. Isn't it? Yeah, and a uh, little bit of a little bit of penetrative, but not too bad. One hour eighteen, so you know, whatever. That's that's close enough. Yeah. Well, three yeah, three yeah. minutes over the prediction. Yeah. No, that's not bad. Yeah. Just wait for mine to finish. I'll, I'll do we'll, we'll carry on and we'll do it in a minute. But... Okay. Oh, I'm just, I need to and you were running uh steelheads and then TSM is running a just the building damage crew, that was all just because yeah, I tried to switch over to you, but yeah, you disappeared right when yeah, I switched I need to, over. Yeah, uh, I picked the wrong window. There we go. We're good. Helder says that's awful. Helder must like uh, playing and sitting at his computer more than I do. <laughs> well, yeah, because you can, you know, uh, I'll switch back over to you. Is there, was there disproportionate damage on one ship, or was it all the same, pretty much? Yeah, it's all it was the same. Team, team yeah, killer's going to force it to be all the same. Yeah, it was mostly yeah. explosive, wasn't it? So it'd be yeah, area effect from explosive from these little ships right here, and then also the the rockets. What sort of driver are you having? Yeah, because he's driving. Well, into I'm a driver, range. but after I do a hundred of the same target, I don't want to drive it anymore. Heck, I don't even want, I don't even want to auto it anymore at that point. Wow, mine said one hour fifty two. Oh, yeah. So steelheads. I'm, cur I'm curious. I'm curious what. Uh, yeah. TSM. You put on steelheads, though, didn't you? No, no, I didn't. I uh, building, building damage. damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. curious. What, if it's all explosive, I guess steelheads is the best. But yeah. I'm just going to see if it's even damage because that'll tell me straight away. Everything over five minutes is terrible. <laughs> you played the wrong game, man. <laughs> I don't know. Usually, people are a fan of if you can last longer than about five minutes. Nobby just told me it's an auto only game, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, I was, auto -in auto -in I was autoing 103s and 900s in this past raid. I've got 23 minutes damage on every ship. Yep. So I guess on the Friday uh, show, we'll, we'll uh, you know, you guys and uh, and the people watching figure out what's the best. Fr Fred's going to auto it. 12 targets on the uh, on the Friday show. Yeah. Yeah. And so I mean, he's gonna drive. He's gonna drive twelve targets, every single one for instant map repair. God, somebody got that, Dave. But if it's all explosive, it seems like Steelhead's the way to go as far as the cheap crews. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll chuck one on now. So that was twenty-two, twenty-three minutes damage per ship. So that was nearly all splash face damage. That was. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it needs a it needs a. Steelhead. Dude, what the hell are these naming conventions for this? The these these uh. These new prizes and stuff. The Daner Polyply CIC. What is this? Yeah, is this a know. polygamy thing? Like I don't I don't get it. I was looking at the slide you switched to there, but Okay. Is that, right. is that, is that a capital D? Because the D's look the same. I, I, yeah. I can't tell. If the D's all look the same to the O Panoply or Pandoply or something. I know. Anyway, what's the complete second, or oppressive complexion of things? Second one I hit, I got I'm up to two hours and 43 minutes, so that's like an hour 30. Geez, that's a lot of variation. Yeah, well, that's, I'm, I'm just doing the second one now. So. Hour 25, hour 25 is not that much. Okay, so you did an hour and 18 and an hour 25, right? So, um. Yeah. Well, mine's a bit offset because obviously I didn't use a steel egg crew, but I've got steel egg crew on. So 150. Yeah, it took 84 minutes damage on that one, which is. Wait, no, that's pretty good. That's about, yeah, hour 24 instead of an hour 18. <coughs> Close enough for a bit. Okay, I'm going to click blitz. But you can still do seven of them, right? I don't think I'm getting through seven of these. Okay. 
All right. Two, uh, TSM, are you four. ready on the slides? I might, get, I might get seven. Okay. Um, as you see, the ask is not as much as it was last week or last month. No. Because we got uh, the request for six uh, times 36 versus two times 80. Uh, because a 603 is worth, worth less. So, and it also gives out the, uh, the new limit of weapons. So, I, you know, especially if you can auto them, I'm going to hit the 603. You can auto anything. It's <laughs> well, uh, yeah, it's worth it to you. Can, you, can, you can, but uh, well, sometimes, well, no, there used to be, you know, there are certain targets if you auto them, you're going to die before it's over. Yep. Well, you can it's still right. auto them. I mean, you can't finish it, but well, within five minutes, but so, you know, whatever. <laughs> or it finishes so, you within five minutes, you know, one or the other. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not touching that one. <laughs> Bubble. Best not. So uh, <laughs> let's move forward. What she said. Mm -hmm. um, we'll talk about these in a minute because I've had a little look at the, Well, when we do the how trash they are. All right. And now we have the uh, um, the CIC. I just threw it in here. Um, yeah. 5% combat speed, things. corrosive damage, projectile speed, and then some survival added on. I'm assuming. Well, once we'll get to that in a second. I'm assuming that you need to have uh, the combat speed, you know, with the smart torpedoes that are going on. Yeah, but it's also the, the, to try and hopefully outrun some of the um, corrosive splash, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I think speed is going to be part of this. Yeah. Um, and once we get, well, we'll get further. I think speed and anti-penetrative accuracy and yeah. reload are going to be. Well, accuracy is going to be a big one. So, yeah, there's a lot of anti pen, isn't there, in this thing? Yes. And, no, I'm you know, so anti pen, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's MDS 3. Well, we'll get to that, but it's mostly MDS 3 that you're going to be using, which, you know, if you miss, you miss and you don't get a second shot. So it's not like, uh, and this is versus UAV and missiles. So, hmm. so yeah, uh, that's why I'm thinking a dedicated CM ship. Even though I think Entry point can be important. Well, you don't yeah. really need a dedicated CM ship as much as one that's like a 50-50 CM and is a is going to be a you know, you know it's gonna have two it's gonna have two MDS threes on it, but it can, it can still do there's only so many penetrative boosting specials. True, I haven't got that far. It's still gonna yeah. do some damage. It's not so gonna I just order the second one, by the way. And the second one was 40 minutes damage. 40? Yeah. And you ordered it? Yeah. You're joking. So the first one was one hour fifty two, wasn't it? And now and now I'm on uh two hours fifty two. Oh no, I know it's not. You shut up, you lunatic. No, one hour fifty two. <laughs> no, it's about one hour one hour thirty. Roughly. That seems yeah. a lot closer. Uh, I just I just I just uh realized that I'm really late in the night and uh, I can't do maths, basic maths. So the Sunday show is gonna be math lessons with Derby. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, one plus one equals five, clearly. No, yeah, it was about 125. That was so. okay. All right, is that about, well, average? Been... Is that about average? Yeah, yeah, anyway. probably. So, you know, you know, because it, it appears that your uh gin drinks in the uh UK are very similar to wine coolers in the US. So, you know, still trying to yeah. figure that out. <laughs> and let's move forward. All, All right. right. Tier 13 Assault Strategy Guide, UAV Ironhide. Uh, this a is PVP probably going to be the... Hull, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a UAV Smart Capita Hall. Um, it has UAVs as well as uh, Corrosive Smart Capito, which can be dodged, which, you know, leads you in the direction of, you know, combat, combat speed, speed, turn speed, yeah. you know, yada, yada, yada. Not King Killer. Which I'm not even believing. I think the UAV part is probably King Killer, but you know, well, the UAV. Uh, I, 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 I don't believe. I don't believe this. Ships. I don't believe yeah. this GD. So yeah, once, once the UAV, I, I, I had someone else edited it, is my guess. Well, I, if you go through the pictures, I mean, they get worse and worse as far as like this person well, doesn't okay, care about the strategy guide. He doesn't. Let's care see how about, bad it gets. Yeah, it gets bad. Um, so the damage, you know, uh, 
yeah, as a UAV as well as a corrosive smart torpedo, which can be dodged if you have the right speed and driving and whatnot. Um, so I'm assuming um, both the UAV and the torpedo. This is sort of interesting to have a torpedo. When's the last time we had a torpedo with penetrative damage? Uh, never. That's called oh, a it's, it's normally in the skirmish, isn't it? When you have the, the smart torpedo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah smart but torpedoes this, are this, normally skirmish. This smart yeah. torpedo is just corrosive, allegedly. Yeah. Example okay, 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 okay. that part is con con corrosive. But yeah, yeah. The, you know, assault and having smart torpedoes is... Uh, I've not heard of that before. Yeah, I, I don't recall that. So, yeah, it's a little fuzzy at this point. You know, cause I didn't make the pictures too big, but this is the one that I, I think is going to be the most difficult to deal with. But let's move forward. We'll, we'll see on Friday. Well, that's probably going to be a static one, isn't it? So, yeah, as it says in chat. Yeah. Whereas this one's uh, different. Yeah. Uh, we have a UAV haul, uh, anti penetrative. Uh, countermeasure so again mds3 so um again no king killer i guess because they spread you know they chain to different ships i guess that's the reason they say it um so so there's nothing else on the hell swarm let's move it's forward still bloody hit though like you said you know the very fact that it's UAV, unless like so the, the previous one, we managed to knock them all down. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But yeah. yeah, I have not seen go through it. Well, when we go through this. Did you skip one? There was an iron eye. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I looked away. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Does it have missiles or UAVs? Why are there so many freaking UAVs? So the iron hides there. Look, that's the first one. So that's yeah. UAVs, and it's got the um the the the, the um. The smart torpedo, and then the hellstorm is also UAV, but that's just UAV. Yeah, so it's not king killer because it's it's going to chain. We don't know what the chain count is or anything like that, but that's what's going on. Chain count, uh, range, chain count ranges. Oh, it doesn't tell you that. So, might as well be yeah. Stacking. And the accuracy is absolute with UAVs. You know, it's not even high. It's like. No matter what you do, you can't use evade. So I'm, you know, as we go through this, let's see anything where evade would actually work because evade doesn't work against UAVs. And the rest of them appear to be splash weapons. Besides, there is a missile in here. So we'll see if there's any reason to make an evade tank. I don't think so, but we'll see on uh, the XP weekend. It's a bit Whether easy using blueprints from PvP uh, PvP holes, isn't it, for for a PvE event? It's just like, well, can't you bother to make up some new blueprints? So we're just going to use the PvP ones. Yeah, I was just thinking that earlier. You know, we used to have fun things like you know the Reavers came out. They were like the Hades, all these interesting ships and stuff. Now they're just copy and pasting things we have in our bases or whatever. Anyway, yeah, okay. we were mega ships next. Well, we've had that already. No, no. If I get a Hyperion that I'm attacking in these targets, I'm gonna take my pro. I'm gonna take your Man of War. I'm gonna shove it so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That sounds like a Sunday show, but yeah. Okay, Good I had luck. to mute myself because I was getting a little wild with that. No, we've got a riot. The riot normally is quite fast, isn't it? It normally uh, attacks you, doesn't it? So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's tricky what they're trying to do. And like I said, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of the you know previous design of these targets or whatever I want to say on that. It's not uh, not the best. Um, again, MDS three. Missileer, uh, Missileer, how would you pronounce that? Missileer, Missileer, is, yeah. is there another E Missler. in there? Missileer, you know, Missileer, Missileer, yeah. it sounds that way. So, again, MDS3, range medium, boom, 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 you know, king killer. So, because it's not going to chain, so, um, probably retargets as well, I expect, but yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. We'll see. So, again, MDS3, there's no, as we go through here, there's no reason to do anything besides MDS3. Um, I don't even know. What is the pretty woman syndrome? You don't know any pretty women, so you wouldn't know that one. Uh, that's not true. <laughs> I'm just changing your chain. So, all right, let's move forward. Scattergun uh, Ravager. Yeah. Uh, these close action scatter guns are usually placed in the close quarters, the inner walls, the Ferox's bases. Uh, okay. Hey, what kind, is that Canada? Okay. Maneuver, or, what maneuver are they? What What is this cow wording in here? All, like, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm just curious. At what country do they spell maneuver that way? Uh, TSM. Maneuver. Is that Canada or is that Canada and the UK? Uh, um, Manu Vale is British English. So is that, is that British or just Canada? Manu Vale, Manu Vale. Oh Jesus! There's front, one from the French. Oh, there's one with the combined. Uh, I think it's Canadian. Like four virgins. TFTF some is that is that just Canada or is that the UK as well? Yeah, ours is um M A N O E U. Uh, uh, U B R E, so yeah. So that's Same. the UK as well. It's right? the English spelling, yeah. Oh, the yeah, UK I, spelling. I'm putting it in chat. Don't worry. In Cambridge Dictionary, it's under. It says maneuver. Same thing. Okay, I was just making English sure it was like a. It wasn't like just a French Canadian thing. So. Um, well, also what? the position of the E and the R at the end can switch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Depending on who, but then again, it's not an English word, is it? So, well, the French don't even have a word for entrepreneur. Remember who said that? Was it Trump? No, it was a good guess, George Bush. I think. I think. Junior. Okay. <laughs> so we adopted this from the French, didn't we? So it wasn't even. But I mean, we use it a lot. So maneuver warfare, and that sort of stuff. Okay, because it, it comes across as, yeah, yeah, it comes across as French for me. You know, that's why I was thinking of just French Canadian. Well, how do you spell center over there? Okay. And then how we spell center, the R and E the other way around, aren't they? So it's the same concept for this. So. Okay. Okay, the British, uh, it's spelled different, but yeah. It's E R instead of R E. So yeah, okay, I was right. All right. Um, now that we got that taken care of, what we were we talking about? <laughs> we were talking about the spelling, and then Derpy's like, "All oh, right, not about the shit." Oh, okay, the I mean, because the British spelling is E R. Yeah. No, no, no. British is R E. The, the oh, R E didn't work very well with that uh, with YouTube's chat function, whatever. Okay. I gotta put some returns between those. All right, we we can move forward. But then again, so we can move maneuver forward. And yeah, really the freaking answers don't work very well. Okay. All right, we got the coastal defense napalm missile. Um, yeah, a blind spot, forty-five degrees, and you got to maneuver about maneuver, maneuver. Is that the right way to pronounce it? Maneuver. 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 <laughs> Yes, this is. You probably nicked it off of that funny guy with, you know, Napoleon. Okay. <laughs> Wait, you consider Napoleon to be that funny guy? That That's a weird take all by itself. Well, it looked a bit weird. So, so, some, some people don't like uh, Napoleon. I didn't say I liked him. I didn't make funny ha-ha. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Um, so it has a blind spot, 45 degrees, but the problem is... The Munavarabal uh, ship is is there that you that fires the scatter guns, so you need to find a way to go uh, past them, keep moving because they're dumb fire. Is I'm assuming the way that we're this is going to work. So yeah, we'll find out on Friday. Yeah, yeah. So all right, let's move forward. Another UAV. A three and another MDS three. So, so, are we thinking the countermeasure vulner vulnerability on all these UAVs is going to be a hundred percent? 
or is it going to be less than one percent? Yeah, because, because, because they're going with MDS threes. It's the only thing that can cheat them down. No, yeah. it, it's fixed damage. Is the way I, I look at it. So I think some, some of these are going to be difficult though. So the yeah, MDS threes are not going to be very quickly. They're going to have enough anti-missile evade that the MDS threes are not going to work one hundred percent on these things. Is what we're sure. determining. Hopefully, that, that, that's what I think is going to happen. But, but I think um, if you go in an angry attack, you just get so many things coming at you, you'll just be overwhelmed if you aren't careful. Yeah. Trying to play around with builds for this thing is kind of difficult. And considering the GD, that's oh, what God. I expect. Yeah, yeah, I should have paid more attention. Yeah, see, that. I was going for a splash build, and I changed my mind. I mean, yeah. Although the clusters are quite close, but now I think it's a high pen and then a high pen, a high evade flagship, but depending on how much that now, sprints mm -hmm. are considered countermeasures, Holder. So this is anti-penetrative. The MDS-3 is... Is, is the only thing that's going to work, yeah. Yeah. So no, they did sprints last time, and they shouldn't have worked, and they did, didn't they? Yeah, we'll see. All right, you know, Which was not on this, that was on some other hole. I can't remember what it was. Yeah, I'm not in love with this GD, so, yeah. Um, All right. Um, pen, yep. pen, pen. This is this is eighteen. To, depending on what these two corrosive, um, there's one turret, isn't there, and two ships. But All right, all right. Derpy was, you know, questioning my judgment earlier. As what the? Far as well, how is that <laughs> pixel art? Who? Yep. Yep. Are this, we about this, to this, it? <laughs> I would much rather see this turret in action, buddy, than than see it here. <laughs> Yeah, but but you see what I'm referring to. This is not. I don't. It's too pixelated. I can't. I can't see it. Yeah, yeah. But you see what I was referring to. This is not a situation where you're, you know, uh, okay. Th this was. Uh, it's you know, yeah. Again, like eight. But do far again. These things, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Th this is what we would have seen when, uh, you know, TSN and I were like. Uh, you know, twelve years old in some game, mm -hmm. as Super opposed Mario. to what? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, this is uh, yeah, this is 1989, uh, 1994. Uh, no, 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 not even 1984, but like 1989, as far as the the graphics uh, associated with this. So you know, I didn't have the ability to get my own screenshots, which I've done in the past, but yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's gonna, yeah, we're talking about armors. I think it might be a 3M build and a one. Uh, oh, I'm not even going to bother guessing this time. Yeah, we'll, we'll see, but um, could be it more. M. I'm, I'm a bit concerned it. about the overload of the MDS freeze. That's what I'm concerned about. There's no point in putting extras on either, it's a waste of time. So, yeah, I think we're gonna get some pen damage yet. Yeah, about don't. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move forward. I'm not sure how much we have left. Just the gate thing, isn't it? Yeah, and I don't, I don't really know how this works. Um, well, I'm guessing it's after it's you so kill cool. it, it pops up. That's what I don't know. It's going to, it's going to be a turn on, turn off. It's going to, you know, sometimes be there, sometimes not. Mm -hmm. You know, timer is my is my only assumption. Yeah, last time when you blew the gate up, it but it, it, it set the aura, didn't it? And that was what happened. Last yeah, time. but this is intermittent. It doesn't say upon death. Also doesn't say what the range is. Oh, sorry, go back. I mean, what's it say? Range? Oh, range is high. So, it's, yeah. So it's going to. So that is going to damage you if it outranges you. So you have to come at these angles and try and keep away, aren't you? And try and yeah, or try and try time it to hit range. those when they oh. hit the scatters and stuff. I think we're going to end up using hyper three in our builds. Yeah, I think you might be right there. Hyper thirty might be the case. It's been a minute since that one. Hmm. I can't come up with six good specials to use on this thing. I can show you a couple of builds. I had a couple of ideas. Yeah, yeah, there's there's some. I'm going over some of that stuff too. I mean, there's there's wasted there's wasted special slots. Like it's not. You yeah, know. I wanted some old specials because I wanted some really um, different stats. But then again, I, I mean, some people have got building damage. Uh, sorry, that they're building upgraded, so they're going to get ten percent extra building damage. So it's. I've seen a couple of builds already put up on Discord, but that's assuming that you've already got um, those buildings already done. Well, you just do 10% land, but less damage if you don't have it. I mean, yeah. But it's hard then compared to people's builds because some people go, oh, look, you've got less damage than what that person has. Yeah, so exactly. And I've got right. some stuff half upgraded that I'm working in the design studio, so it's going to look yeah. different. Um, that's that's the last one. I'll, I'll 
Yeah, no, the flash I've, got Friday. I've got some ideas of bills, but there's no point now. We may as well wait to see the VXP target because that'll make a huge difference. But I've got two bills. One's a high splash and one's a high speed. I didn't really think about splash. That's true. Well, they're clusters, aren't they? So um, yeah. I've got I come up with a splash. I don't think it was super high, mind. But I'm, I'm yeah. not going to show it publicly. I'll, just in case it's... um. People end up building it and then splashes. We have, we have used a lot of weird splash stuff on the old scatter guns that used to be, um, uh, you know, DOD and stuff like that. Yeah. So in design mode, I've got one at the moment. Let's have a look at, um, I'll cancel that. Let's have a look at load. Uh, I've got one at the moment that's sitting on, what's the splash? Oh, it splashes at much. It's only 55, but the splash of the weapon is already, uh, what is it? It's, 17 isn't it so it's not a high splash one but i've got one it's it's um corrosive damage is 5014 percent building damage 415 percent and then it's yeah multi-shot plus three plus four for the heavy not that it really matters because the heavy is not going to do anything at all but so that's that one there and com oh, fact, what was combat speed for that combat speed was uh 94 which i think that's pretty generic anyway do you need to are, are you trying to show us that because you're still showing us the slides no no okay no, i was just talking sure. about it that was all it's just i'm just well i can show it but the problem is we can't guarantee it can we yeah not till friday yeah because we're sure shooting in the dark at this point right yeah i'll just I, I, i'm not really sure whether it's a whether this is a bloody splash build thing or it's a it's a run of, run away from things like you know as in as in kite things you know i'm not really sure what the score is here okay fred is freaking out I, well i'll show you on friday okay i think that's the best thing isn't it because i know it's a, yeah. a vfp weekend but whatever rip down the do, you, do, do, do you want to show uh, you know i got a pretty guy as far as like the safe build for VXP weekend that we can adjust afterwards. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've got I've got one of those. Hang on, then. Let me just let me just okay. let me zoom in first and get. A, I don't know it's Fred. I'll just send Fred a, a, a PM anyway. I'll just send it to him. So. Uh, right, can you see that? Fred's trying to be a team player. Right, have a look at that, Cafe. Share that. Uh, assuming it's still shared. I'm, okay, one second. I've got a weird ass build with acid effusion shells. Yeah. Oops, yeah, you switched on and off, so there we go. Sharing now. Yeah, so that's what I've, I've gone for that, basically, for... Yeah, the only one I don't love, I wish we had a better special than Odyssey decoy system, because the yeah. scatter gun reload, corrosive damage, and multi-shot, I guess they all stack with everything else, so it, it's a, it's a uh, overall yeah. decent special. So just for the VXP weekend, just for ranking up, I've gone with that, and then on, and then I've got one that basically has got uh, yeah an MDS three on it. Basically, that's the only other difference I've got really. So one one looks like that, and the other three are all the same. So that's my base level. Like I said, you know, I can show you, but there's 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 this option here, which is I got to do some math to figure out which uh, which. Uh, multi-shot special is the best bang for your brock. I think it's the one you have on because that's the highest tier. But possibly, I think it is. I'd look at. I'd look at them. I think two. it is. It's possible yeah. a plus three. So we'll have to show that on Wednesday or Friday. Yeah, Friday. And that's well. There's corrosive battery three, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, is there corrosive battery three? Oh, there might be. Unless I've got some other weird thing on. I'm a bit corrosive. Hang on a minute. It's a. It's. It's not limited. Yeah. There's a non-limited one. It doesn't apparently it doesn't come up when you search, but if you if you type corrosive battery three, you just go to all. It's in there. It, really? It doesn't come up. Yeah. Well search search, uh, search for corrosive battery or something. 
I've got. I'm looking at it right now. It's on my ship. It's a tier twelve. Yeah, but why isn't it such? That doesn't make sense. I don't, I don't know where it's at. It's probably pretty close to the top. It's not it's limited. In, oh, it's probably you. Probably can't. It's 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 not limited. So it's something I can't it's, stack uh, with. That's why. Yeah, there's gonna. That's super weird. Where? Oh, it might be. Why do I? Oh no, it is limited. I'm sorry, it is limited. And it is, and it's. Uh, oh, okay. So it's it's the third. It's in the third row. Yeah, right there. Yeah, I got it. But I, I can't see what the hell it. it stacks with. Well, okay. It doesn't so stack what is it? Uh, it? So it's. I think it's, it's narrow firing aperture. It doesn't stack with. Sixty-five and one. That's the. I don't have narrow firing aperture on my build, and I don't have. I don't have. Um, Yeah, I think that's the only difference. Nope. Okay. I have Hyper 30 on and you don't. I'm trying to figure out the differences here. Centrifugal loaded system. I've got that. Gee, that's good. The engine. 115. So is it... Well, I've got to take that off no matter what. So hang on. Let's take that off and try that now. Yeah. So yeah. It. yeah, it doesn't stack with narrow firing aperture. It, or I think. Yeah, if you go to Blueprint and search for any... Yeah, go to Blueprint. So that could That's be so thing. weird. Why does narrow firing aperture stack with corrosive battery two and not? That doesn't make oh, sense, does it? No, it doesn't. Anyway, yeah, I, I think you're probably right, and actually, I might end up yeah going like this. Oh, that's a possibility then. That yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm thinking. It's not it's not the best, you know. It possibly. Then, it, it, it is the best. The thing is it, we can outrun a lot of the stuff in, can't we? Yeah, and then the, the other thing is, though, on the anti-ship, you're going to want to put on iron for plating instead of Hyper 30 to increase your anti-accuracy, but that's not going to stack with Hyper 30, so you have to do something else to put on combat speed. I guess you could play with, with armor, speed armors. Yeah, so I think the standard weapon, standard ones could be like this. If we, might, if we can manage to outrun the corrosive, then I think I might go somewhere like that. Once we get the CICs on, obviously that's the problem as well because I mean, we're going to be slow to start with. Um, but we can chuck on that um, sub crew or something like that, can't we? To start with, because that gives us a bit of speed, or anything that gives us twenty percent combat speed will do. Won't it? Give, it, give you the yeah equipment. thirty, yeah thirty, but yeah, yeah. So we've it's got to reduce your damage on that ship by quite a bit. So yeah, hard to know. I mean, we're not going to know till we get a full fleet, to be honest. But the thing is, these might be over. I mean, look, these might be completely overkill on damage anyway. You don't know. I mean, corrosive damage there, is, yeah. Yeah, that's dropped quite a lot. It was 5,000, now it's 377. So, and, and then the hint there is no speed benefit because obviously the CIC is run, so we're not getting anything there. But there is another corrosive damage plus 30 at U3, look, and 10% building damage as well. So, that, that's going to make a huge difference. Yeah, Helder's asking about a possible high evade flag, but I don't see it considering the fact that there's, you know, it's I'm UAVs. UAV. You can't evade those buggers anyway, so. Yeah, yeah there's UAVs, and I don't see a reason to have a high evade flag, is just the answer. I mean, there's only so one I, ship that's actual king killer itself, isn't there? But. Yeah, I don't. I don't. It, you know, it depends on the distribution, but yeah, I don't see a high vape flag. I see a counter. I see a countermeasure specialist ship, but I don't see a high vape flag. Yeah, I see. I see switching one or two counter things for a better CM special for sure. Yeah, I think the I'm flagship right. maybe for countermeasures. Yeah, I think so too. Make it really high. Yeah, it could be any ship right now. We don't know the flag stats. I'm not expecting the flag to have higher armor, and I'm not expecting it to have any different. Um, anything major other than the X one or it'd be different X one. Yeah. whatever. Because that ship that's got uh, King Killer, it's it's countermeasure variable is it yeah, so it'll anti pen works for it, so and it's only a medium range on a high range, so and it's on a ship, not a turret, which is good. Okay. So uh, I put the link out there in case anybody wants to join the show. Um, anything else we should be discussing at this point in time? Uh, no, not really. Okay. Um, so I guess we can shut it down. I think we've, unless there's something else you want to add. No, there's too many unanswered questions at the moment. We'll wait till Friday. We'll get a better idea, I think. Yeah, yeah. we won't even know by the end, to be honest. Well, I mean, 
we'll have a better idea, but we won't know for sure. I'll see if I can get some countermeasures on, maybe two MDS-3s and see how, how effective they are by Friday. No promises, though. That makes sense. Cool. So, all see right. Well, all right. Later, folks. And, you know, um, I'm hoping to be on Friday. And uh, take care, everybody. And best of luck. And uh, we'll see you then. Later, people. Later. Later.